Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to benchmark your Windows 10 PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So before we get too far in today's video, let's talk about why you would want to benchmark your PC. So by benchmarking your PC with concrete numbers, it allows us to create a nice standard across different software, different specifications, and lets us know how different software stacks up under different unique tasks or different unique loads. So there's a couple different ways you can benchmark your PC. The first is going to be benchmarking software. There's a number out there. Some is free, some is paid, and I'll be showing you a couple of the more popular ones in today's video. The second is going to be games. Now, there's two ways to benchmark in games. One is just playing games. I won't be showing that in today's video too heavily, but I'll be touching on it briefly. And I will be talking about built-in benchmarking tools in some games. And then finally, we're going to be talking about custom benchmarking tools. Now, this is done using a couple of different things. One of the most popular ways is setting up a test project in something like Adobe Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or some sort of other video editing software. You'll set up a nice 4K footage with some effects and some different things, and then you will use that as a benchmark across all of your PCs. So you can really customize it and test out different things on different computers. By using all of these together, we can get a nice rounded suite of how well a PC performs based on CPU, GPU performance, based on content creation performance, and then based on gaming performance. You don't need to use all of these, but these can give you steps in the right direction to setting up your own benchmarking suite, whether you want to just test out your computer versus your friends, or if you plan to create a tech YouTube channel where you test out a bunch of PC software, might be something I'll look more into in the future, but this should put you in the right direction. Let's jump right into this. So the first benchmarking tool we're going to be taking a look at is 3 Mark. Links is always in the description down below. And there's a couple of different versions you can use depending on what you're trying to do. So right now the basic edition is free and this includes the Time Spy, Night Raid, Fire Strike and Skydiver benchmarks. Now if you've watched other benchmarking videos, you've most likely seen a lot of these, especially the Time Spy, their most very popular ones. And you can check out some of the more advanced ones. You have the Advanced Edition and Professional Edition, which have some more advanced features and techniques that you can take a look at. So feel free to take a look at any of these best versions to download the 3d mark basic version it's actually available on steam so normally it costs around 25 euro it's currently on sale for 3 euro 74 however if we come over to the right here we can actually download the demo which is free to use and it's around 7 gigabytes in size so this is one of the first things you can use to benchmark and test your pc now 3d mark tests out more of a gpu and cpu test so it is more of a gaming orientated benchmark however it does give a nice overall feel to how well a pc performs and it's definitely something cool to take a look at and check out and then it should open up in this window right here. We'll get some information about our system. Here we can directly run the Time Spy benchmark. However, we can also click on the name here, get some more information and even change some of the settings here to choose what display or what rendering device we want to use. We can also click on benchmarks right here. We can scroll through and see all the different benchmarks available. As mentioned, some of these only will be available with the pro or upgraded version. So that is something to keep in mind. For today's video, I'm just going to be doing the Time Spy benchmark. Simply select it. And all I'm going to be doing is clicking run and then our benchmark is going to start running. Now this might take a couple minutes minutes again, but this is one of the prettier benchmarks to take a look at so you can feel free to sit back, relax and enjoy looking at this one. Once it is done, you'll get your Time Spy score, you'll get your graphical score and your CPU score, and you'll also get some different monitoring information from your computer right here. This is all really cool to see. We can scroll down, see the different scores, different FPS and the different information. So this is a really nice, dedicated, detailed benchmarking tool that you can use and add to your arsenal when benchmarking a PC. The next tool we're going to be taking a look at is Passmark, and this is another popular software that we see around a lot. The nice thing about this is it does actually include a free trial that we can download here. And as you can see, I have my EXE 
here at the moment. It's really easy to install. You just select the exe and then run it and then you'll be able to start up your tests. To run or start your benchmark, what we can do is click run benchmark and you'll get this pop up to say it will take a few minutes and it will also take control of your keyboard and mouse a couple of times during the benchmark. So that's just something to keep in mind as well. There's also a full buy license option where you can purchase it, upgrade or extend your support. And there's also extra information and details depending on volume licenses and site licenses. So right now I am running my benchmark and it does test a number of different things, including a CPU mark, 2D graphics mark, 3D graphics mark, a memory mark, and a disk mark. Now you may see a number of different windows and information popping up while this is happening. So you may have to be a little bit patient here while it scrolls through and does a number of different things on your PC. Once your test is done running, you'll get different information on each of the different tests it did. CPU mark, 2D, 3D, memory mark, and disk mark. And you'll also get percentiles based on all other users that use this. So of course, the higher the percentile, the better. Now, if you come to your home section here after you first get the information of your computer, you'll also get this little 3D model. You can click on the different parts of your PC to get information. So here I have my CPU, my 3700X. I can click on my graphics card here and I can see it's a 5700 XT. And this is a cool little conceptual model that we can use here. Now, two other 3D benchmark tools you can use are Cinebench. This I'm going to be leaving a link in the description down below. However, I'm not going to be testing it in today's video. This is a good test of both CPU and potential GPU tests, depending on the different tests you run. So you can come here and read some information about different things and download it directly from Maxon. And the second one is going to be Blender. This is one you probably see frequently as well. There's a couple of different things you can render here. You can render splash screens. You can do some Eve rendering. You can do cycles. And probably one of the most common ones you will see is the car or the BMW render and the classroom render. These are both really cool renders to do. And again, we'll give you some information and put you up against other CPUs on the market as well. So again, both of these will be linked in the description down below. The next one we're going to be taking a look at is Geekbench or more specifically Geekbench 5. This is going to be one more orientated towards your CPU. As you can see from the screenshot here, we'll get both a single core and a multi-core performance. Links as always to this or the description down below we can come here and download this version now of course there is also the buy now option if we select this there's a couple different versions including the pro version the standard version for mac windows and linux the mac os specific version the windows specific version and then the geek 5 linux version and this is another great benchmarking tool to check out if you're trying to test your single core or multi-core performance for your processor so once you have the free version of geekbench downloaded what we can do is come here underneath the cpu benchmark we can select our architecture for me it's 64 bit and we can simply click run cpu CPU benchmark. Now this can take a couple minutes to finish up. I am also recording this whole footage right now so my performance might be impacted a little bit. My current processor is a Ryzen 3700X with 8 core and 16 threads. So another tool or technique that creators will use for benchmarking their PC is they will set up a predefined project in a video editing software. For example Premiere Pro, Final Cut or DaVinci Resolve. And what they will set up is a test project that they always keep on an external drive or somewhere in the cloud that they will always download and use this across the board. So this can be any type of project project, a 4K project with a number of effects, maybe a 3D video, HDR footage, maybe a number of different videos overlaid at once. Whatever the case may be, they can use this as a good reference as well, and they will time how long it takes to output or export or render the footage from the actual video project. This is another great test as it's really dynamic, and you can really set up to be customized exactly what you want. And it's another really great way to test or benchmark your PC. Finally, we're going to be discussing and talking about game benchmarks. So some games when you load up will have built-in benchmarks in inside them so it'll give you a nice consistent performance across the board. One example of this is Shadow of the Tomb Raider and I'll be leaving a couple of other games linked in the description down below that also offer game benchmarks. I know some of the Dirt series also does this. I believe some of the Assassin's Creed games also offer this service. I really like when games do this. It gives you a nice idea and a good kind of baseline performance of what to expect depending on the hardware that you have. So in Tomb Raider to be able to find your benchmark what we can do is come to the options right here. We can come to display and graphics and once the display and graphics are open at the bottom we will see here or to run benchmark if we click this we will start running a benchmark based on all your predefined settings in your graphic settings so feel free to change anything before you run this but once you run it it will start to load up and perform the benchmark
Once the benchmark is over, you'll get all the different information here, your average FPS, your total frames rendered, and then you'll also get your min, max, average, and your 95 percentile of all the different information here. And this is a really nice tool. Now, one other way people can benchmark their games is just by picking a fixed section of the game or multiple fixed sections and just walking through them. So games where you don't offer traditional benchmarks, for example, in Fortnite, you will select an area and just walk through that area and kind of get the average frame rate using a tool like Fraps or something like this. And this can be another good way to benchmark games that don't offer a full dedicated benchmarking service and is another thing that you can do and check out depending on what you're trying to achieve. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to benchmark your Windows 10 PC. If you use all of these different tools and pick and choose the ones that specifically work for your use case, you can really get a nice rounded benchmarking system for your PCs. And even across operating systems, this can work really, really well. So hopefully that helped you out. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.